Okay, I had a student, uh, he was doing this homework. I have an Excel homework for, for my corporate finance class. And this homework that I'm showing you came out of this book. It's a good example problem on how to apply the cap M and, and, and the beta and the risk free rate and whatnot. And so this, this basically says that a manager believes his firm will earn a 16.5% return, which is this right here. His firm has a beta of 0.64, right? Um, the expected return on the market is 14.4%, and the risk-free rate is 5.4%. And they want, and basically this information, we see this information is basically telling you that you should use a Q, cap M because that's exactly the information you need. This, these three things are the things you need in order to calculate uh, the risk-appropriate level of return based on the cap m and if you remember right the cap m uh the equation for the cap m is th is this right i'll put it right here this is the equation for the cap m so in order to calculate the risk appropriate rate of return level of return uh i'm going to put in the i'm going to go equals the risk free rate which is this right here plus my beta of my of my firm beta is a firm specific Constant, and then we're going to take it times the market risk premium. Well, the market risk premium is the expected return on the market minus the risk-free rate, and so we get a so we get a uh, using the cap M, we figure the firm is valued at that. Okay, so now the manager. The manager thinks his stock is worth that, and the cap M, well, the cap M is showing that it's valued at that. So if the manager is sitting here thinking at that, and he calculates that, he thinks it's undervalued because this value is less than what he thinks. So the thing is, this is an Excel assignment, so it, want, it doesn't want you to type in here undervalued. It wants you to look at these two numbers and have it determine whether it's undervalued or not. So this is perfect for an if statement. So I can go if um, this is greater than this, well then this price would be larger and the manager is going to say well that's overvalued from what i think it is otherwise if this is less than this well in that case i'm going to put a comma and then where it says value of true in that case um if it's less than that then the manager thinks whatever the cap m calculated is undervalued from what he believes the company is worth right otherwise if it's not either one of those then it's gonna you could say it's uh, fairly valued okay and in this case the answer is undervalued so um, so you have to have Excel figure out what it is right so these are the two answers um, the that, you're, that you have to calculate, but you just can't type in there overvalued. You want Excel to figure it out. That's that's the point of this. Learning how to use the if statements in order to, because what if this would change? What if he maybe he thought uh, his firm was ten percent? Well, then automatically you say, well, the you know the market is he he thinks it's worth ten percent. We it's calculated at eleven point six percent, so that's obviously overvalued from his standpoint. That's overvalued from what he thinks. I'm gonna hit my friend Control Z to make it back the way it was to begin with. All right, so that's all there is. That's short and sweet. That's the Cap M. How to apply it? You can apply that to a security or to a portfolio if you have your. So first, you calculate your beta. I have videos out there on how to do beta. Beta, if you want to go look at them. Uh, my picture will come up here if you want to subscribe to this my channel. Just click on that picture. Click like if you like this video. And thanks for watching. Short and sweet, under five minutes.